My name is Jamin Gerker. I'm an associate real estate broker in the state of Alaska, and my mission is to help you to build an intentional and significant legacy for yourself and your family by coaching in real estate. And today, we're going to be talking about what's going on in real estate and the residential, condo, and multifamily market right here in Eagle River. Before we get started, as always, give this video a like, subscribe, do all that good stuff because it makes it um, really easy for other people like you to find this information. And let's go and jump into it. Now, the first thing we're going to be looking at is what's going on in the multifamily market. So what we're seeing here is there is a pretty precipitous drop in the number of properties that are currently available. Because this time last year, there was 53 homes that were available on the market. This year, there are 28. So this sounds low, but this is actually lower than what you think because the high watermark for the number of properties we usually have is actually right around like 150 or so for the month of April. And um, yeah, that's obviously not where we're at right at the moment. The high watermark for the highest we have in recent history was 167 back in 2018. And that's for the month of April. And now we're at 28. So that gives you an idea of just how compressed down the inventory is in Eagle River right now. Now the next thing we see is the total number of properties that have sold during this time frame has pretty much gotten cut in half because it went from 42 this time last year for the month of April to 26 this year. So this really does tell me that we are in fact seeing a, a pretty sizable decrease in the total number of properties that are selling and partly, well, a big part of that just has to do with the fact that the, the total number of properties available is just taking such a downward hit. So that's, uh, that's not surprising based on what we know. Now, looking at the year to date, the average sold price in Eagle River went from about 468,000 to 505,000 this year, which means we're actually seeing a, a approximately a 78, 7 to 8% increase for the average sold price. So that's really great for you as a seller. And let me actually break out the, the months a little bit more just to give you some more context. So for the month of January, this time last year, uh, we actually went from about 400, uh, 444,000 to about 453,000. For the month of February, it just it's the highest I have seen it ever. And that's including this the summer months too, because the average sold price went from about 423,000 the year before to about 540,000 for the next year. And yeah, I mean, it trickles down a little bit from there. It went from about 468,000 for March up to about 412,000. And then for the month of April for this past a uh, month it went from about 451,000 to 522,000. So the average sold price I expect is going to continue going up for Eagle River. Uh, this isn't a bubble, this is just pure supply and demand and we're in a time of inflation and there's limited space to actually build in Eagle River. So I'm not expecting to see like a big pop like everyone has been saying and just see the market suddenly collapse. I'm just not seeing the dynamics here in this particular market to make that happen. Obviously, you can always be wrong. Everything is a theory, despite whatever someone tells you on the internet. Everything is a theory. My theory is we're probably not going to see a collapse in this market anytime soon. Just the fundamentals or supply and demand are too sound. Now, we suddenly see a huge explosion in inventory available on the market in Eagle River. That could change things, but it's going to take quite a bit to even put a dent in it. Now for condos, we see that we actually went from overall, we went from seven the year before down to two. And that sounds pretty dramatic and it is, but it's even more dramatic when I say that the year before, back in uh, back in 2021, we had 15 and the year before that, eh, 15, but in uh, 2019, we actually had 25. So you see the total number of condos available on the market in Eagle River is just getting smaller and smaller as we move forward. Now, the next thing we see is that the total number of condos that have sold in Eagle River for the month of April went from eight the year before down to two for this year. Not a big surprise given all the lack of inventory that we've had. Now, the next thing we see is the average sold price went from about 297000 for this time last year to about 254000 for this previous year, year to date. Now, before we get too excited, once we have such a small sample size, it really just comes down to what specific units actually sold for that month and really for the entire year to date. So I'm really not putting a whole lot of weight in this. I can say anecdotally for if you're looking for condos in Eagle River, 
there's going to be a lot of intensity. There's going to be a lot of heat for it because you get a lot of buyers that are just, just done with trying to find a single family home. They're like, oh, forget it. We're just going to go find a condo instead. And a lot of people are deciding to do the same thing at the same time. And so that creates a lot of demand for this particular asset class in Eagle River. So that's, uh, that's kind of what to expect if you're looking at condos in Eagle River for the short term here. Let's take a break here real quick. For those of you who've been watching for a little bit, you do know that I have a relocation guide for those of you who are considering moving up here to Alaska and it has a lot of the general information of what it's like living up here right there in that guide. So do make sure that if that's something you're interested in, that you reach out to me on the website. It's in the description section down below and just put relocation guide in the little comments section so I know what to send you. Now let's go and talk about what's going on in the multifamily market here in Eagle River. This time last year for the multifamily market, we had two total properties that were available on the market. Now there is one. And honestly, I'm just kind of happy just to have that one. This is obviously not a huge area for multifamily to begin with. If you do have a multifamily here in Eagle River, congratulations. It's, it's kind of tough to come by, uh, especially recently, just with the, the rents going up and it being profitable to be a landlord in this environment. And um, that's all fine and good because those property taxes will be coming up and uh, that's going to wipe out a lot of the any profit that you would have as a landlord. But let's go ahead and take a look here and see what the high water mark is for inventory this time of year. And I think it's 2018, if I recall correctly, where there were like nine available. So we see that we're down by about, was it like 12, 13% compared to where we were back there at the time. So you do see that total availability is just so much lower than what it looks like. We compare it just to the year before. Now, for the total number of multifamily properties that have sold in Eagle River, the answer is there have been zero for the month of April. And a matter of fact, zero really for the entire year up to this point, just because there's really been nothing available. Landlords really don't want to let go of their properties in Eagle River, especially in this environment. And of course, if we haven't actually sold any properties for the entire year in Eagle River and multifamily up to this point, you can forgive me if there's absolutely no average sold price that we can go off of. But if you did, I'd be pretty, I would be uh, really would suspect that you're going to see a, a much higher average sold price from what you would expect for the same property the year before. All right, let's go ahead and just do a quick summary of everything. So if you are a buyer in this market looking at Eagle River, not it's not the end of the world. Okay, luckily we're, we're in a different environment from what we were a couple of years ago. It's still competitive. There's not a whole lot of options. There's, I think there's actually less options than what we saw at the time, but there's less demand because the interest rates have gone up. So if you're very pre-qualified, you've got good cash, you're gonna be in a good position to make something happen regardless what's going on. And the good news is that negotiations are actually coming back to transactions, whereas before in like 2020, 2021, there was none of that. Like it was just a race to the bottom to see who could give away the most. And we're starting to see negotiations coming back. We're seeing you know price cuts happening on houses when we're negotiating with them. Uh, we're seeing sellers you know pay for some closing expenses for the buyers, just depending on the situation. So it is actually a better environment than what it was before. Not a whole lot that's available. And if it's a really turnkey house that everybody wants, like it's you're gonna have some competition but not like it was a couple of years ago where even the junkers were getting a ton of offers and a ton of attention. If you're a seller, great market to be in. You just have to make sure that you are being realistic with your market, uh, with market value on your property, and you're not just asking for anything and not caring about staging or anything else because the reality is starting to come back to the market and um, you know it's a good thing in the long run, but we definitely have things that we have to do now. You can't just put anything out there on the market at this point and expect it's it's going to sell. If you're an investor, patience is going to be the name of the game and you have to uh, try to find something more off market. It's probably the route I would be going right now if you're trying to find some investment property in Eagle River. It's a solid area. The cap rate is lower, so the headache factor is going to be much lower and the rents for the area are probably going to be going up at a faster rate than what you're going to see in Anchorage because it's a uh, limited space here in Eagle River and more and more people are wanting to move out to Eagle River away from Anchorage. So this has been your market update for everything that's going on in Eagle River. I sure hope it's been helpful. If you do have questions, make sure to reach out to me and thanks for watching.